Hello everyone, Rick Corbett Jr. here again for another edition of the RickCorbettJr.com blog. I want to welcome everybody today in our unending quest for success in network marketing. I want to bring a great topic to you today that's really critical in our business that I don't think people give enough credit to or understand enough about, and that is setting clear and defined goals. Okay, setting clear and defined goals. So, you know, uh, I talk to a lot of people every day uh, from all over the world. And, you know, we talk to people, and a lot of people are telling me that, hey, they're doing the right things, and they're doing this, they're doing what. Pardon me with that background noise, folks. You know, I live here in South Beach, and I uh, got the door open. It's 85 out today. So, uh, bottom line, let's back to topic. And uh, when we talk about clear and defined goals, some people don't understand what that really means, okay, and how impactful it is on your end results. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take a few minutes to talk about your goals and are they clear and defined, or will I just say clearly defined goals? Uh, because, you know, a vague goal gets a vague result. So let's talk about it. So first off, when we talk about your goals, you know, we know that we've got to have our goals written down. Okay, we know that we should have them on three by five cards, you know, like this, that we can take and write our goals and, you know, take them and have them so you can see them every day. You know, you should be looking at your goals two to three times a day. But when you go look at them, okay, talk about, let's talk about the specificity of these goals, okay, because this is huge, folks, this is huge, okay, so think about your goal, like, for example, if you were going to buy a car, just to use an example, okay, um, and, you know, were you going to take and get a picture, and let's just say, for the sake of example, um, you like the BMW 750 Li, okay, like I like, okay, so now when you go get your, B, go get a picture, you're going to go get a picture of a BMW 750 Li, Black, no wheels, no tires, no interior. Or are you going to get pictures so you can see what it looks like with the wheels, with your wheel package, uh, maybe, or what your interior is going to look like, what the colors are. You know before you go buy that car exactly the colors you want. You know everything. You know the colors of the outside, you know the interior, you know if you want a shades or hues, you want this and that. You know all that. You know all the features of it you want before you get the car. Now I say to you, if you know that much about your car, how are your goals that clearly defined? Meaning that could be one of those goals to get myself a BMW 750i L black on black with a custom wheel package. Da 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 da. We could that could be a goal. That's great. What about the rest of your goals? Like I say this because sometimes people do it on one goal but then they don't do it on the most important ones. And, you know, I'm talking about things like, you know, what do you set for a goal for maybe your rank for your company this year, this quarter? You know, what did you set for an income level? Okay, so did you set it and then put a time frame on it? Because the three keys you need for a goal, okay, one is you have to have a goal, two, you have to have a time frame for it, okay, and you have to hold yourself accountable. So the bottom line is, are you setting yourself and putting a deadline on it? Because here's what I'll tell you, folks, if you're not setting deadlines for your goals, See, the, here's what I'd say. Let's look at it from the back, from the mind out. Your subconscious mind is a very, very powerful tool. The key is your subconscious mind can trigger things. It can set things off for you. It can do a lot for you, but you've got to feed it, okay? And so when we talk about setting those clearly defined goals, when you take it and put a time limit on it, your subconscious mind registers that, like a file. and says, wow, you know, we've got to get this done by this date. And guess what? If you think about it often enough, guess what? Your subconscious mind is going to say to you, hey, dude, are we on schedule? Where we're at on this? So, you know, it's going to help hold you accountable. It's going to help keep you moving towards your goals in the time frame designated. But so many people go, oh, I don't want to put a time frame on it because then if I don't make it, I failed. Again, folks, that's loser attitude. You've got to have a goal. You've got to put a time frame on it. And don't get me wrong, make it realistic. Don't make it unrealistic. Meaning, you know, if you've never made any money in network marketing and you only make, you know, say $30,000 or $50,000 a year uh, on your job and you want to go say, I'm going to go buy a BMW 750 Li and pay cash for it today, that's not realistic, okay? It's not realistic because you don't make enough. The car costs more than you make in two years. Okay, so you got to have realistic goals. But see, the goals can be realistic if you set somebody that's one of your mentors and ask them, say, hey, look, is this realistic? How do I need to adjust it? So know that if it is realistic, because like I said, when it's too unrealistic, the subconscious mind just throws it out. Okay, so if you said, hey, I'm going to make 100000 a month here, or I'm going to make 10000 a month, yet you've never made more than four or 5000 
thousand a month, yet in ninety days I'm going to make ten thousand a month in network marketing. There is a part of your mind that will say that's not going to happen. You, we've never made that much money, okay? So my point being that you know unless you've got an overwhelming drive and desire, your goals have to be very clearly defined, and you must know exactly what you want. And here's all I'd say is if you take your goals and you look at your goals today that you've got for 2011 and start right now, go back and look at all your personal goals from what you want to be, what you want to accomplish, you know, maybe family, uh, you know, spiritual, physical, and then obviously the financial. Well, when it comes to financial, as well as all those other goals, put some time frames on them. Give them a deadline, okay? Now, don't be wrong. If you get to the deadline, you haven't achieved your goal, hey, guess what? It's no failure, but if you've got a realistic enough goal, it's going to keep you working. There's a really good chance you will hit your goal. That's my point. You've got to get used to setting goals and achieving them. Set a little goal, achieve it. Set a little goal, achieve it. Set a little goal, achieve it. When you do that, you develop a habit okay, of, of uh, winning. You develop a habit of succeeding. You develop a habit of achieving your goal. And guess what? Then when you set a little bigger goal, it's easier to obtain as well. And then you can start branching out. But you've got to set goals and put time frames on them. All I can tell you is I think probably one of the biggest challenges people have in network marketing is unrealistic, unrealistic expectations. One, two, and uh, I should say unrealistic unrealistic expectations, one, and then two, not clearly defined goals. If people dealt with both of those, I think we'd be a greater industry and a lot more people to make a lot of money. Now, you know what I talk to you about, folks, is it's all mental, okay? The things we just talked about there, uh, you know, clearly defined goals, is writing it down, and keep in mind, if you do not understand the value of writing your goals down and having them in a journal, somewhere that you can keep them, somewhere private, away from everything else, I think you still haven't gotten the picture either. And if I were you, I would go get, uh, read, start reading Think and Grow Rich again, okay, from the beginning, okay? And, uh, you know, again, start uh, putting some of those things into place that you need. But know this, folks, you know, if they're written down, they're clearly defined, and you got somebody that's going to help hold you or you're going to willing to hold yourself accountable, any goal you set is achievable. Any goal you set is achievable. And like I said, once you develop a habit of achieving and win, you know, achieving small goals, you step up the goal a little more, and guess what? It gets a lot easier. But when you've never done it before, it's hard. Start small, work your way up, and within a year, you'll be able to set goals that will cover a month, two months, three months, and you'll hit them every time. So if I can be of assistance to you in any way, shape, or form, reach out. I'm Rick at RickCorbettJr.com. I want to say thanks for being with us today. Again, you know we're on a blitz here, uh, 100 days with 100 pieces of content, so there will be something new every day on the blog. Remember, if you're not on our update list, because, you know, we not only have the blog, but we have the weekly show, Thursday, uh, yourweeklybusinessshow.com. <clears throat> which if you're on the blog, excuse me, it's uh, right there, okay, above my head, there on uh, your right-hand side, and uh, check it out every Thursday, but make sure you get on our update list right there on the blog. So thanks for being with us. We'll see you tomorrow with another edition. If I can be a value or service to you, reach out to me directly, rick at rickcorbyjr.com. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll see you soon.